Hello everyone, welcome to Capture One Compares, where we try to do the exact same single edit inside of both Capture One and Lightroom Classic to see if there are differences between them. Here we go. So today we are doing a basic white balance adjustment. I have the same image of an 18% gray cloth hung up uh, on a bookshelf. And of course I shot using the wrong white balance intentionally so that we would have to do a correction. So 18% gray cloth, which is made for white balance correction that I am going to use to try to gain accuracy. And let's actually pause for just a second to see that there is actually a difference in the image, same image loaded into both softwares. If we take a look here in Lightroom Classic, um, there, it's actually a brighter and more contrasty original image. Come over here to Capture One and we'll see it's actually a little bit less contrasty and a little bit less has been done as it's been loaded into the software. So it's a little bit lower contrast, a little bit muddier of a feel. And that's actually interesting. Let's go back and forth. No adjustment has been done at this point. So Lightroom Classic here, a little bit brighter, a little bit poppier. Here, Capture One, a little bit less so. That's interesting. Now, when you do a white balance correction, you want to use something that is true 18% gray, this is, but you have to be careful where you actually measure in order to get similar results, naturally. We're gonna pick this corner right here just to have something that is consistent. We have a darker area here, we have a lighter area here, but we're just gonna pick right there because it's kind of flat to the plane and do a white balance correction. Come over here to Lightroom Classic, grab our white balance picker tool from the basic tool uh, over here on the right panel, and then we're going to try to pick the exact same spot. So let's go ahead and zoom in to 100% so that we're really looking uh, at, at this close up. We've got the gray here and the white of the bookshelf here. Let's come over to Capture One. We're gonna grab our navigator and we're going to come in to the same degree here to examine the same area. Okay, so same area of both images. And first, let's take a look, and we actually see that the color annotation is measured differently between these two softwares. But here I've got, and we're looking over underneath the histogram, we see uh, that this is coming out right around the exact same values across red, green, and blue, which is what you want out of a white balance adjustment. The white uh, next to it looks really good. I think this is a highly accurate, nice, bright, contrasty white balance. Uh, come over here, and I think that we're getting the same color tone. We really are, and we're getting a very nice white here. Let's add a color annotation, something not a lot of people actually do in Capture One, but here's how you do it. You come up to the color picker um, uh, cursor tool, add color readout, and we can grab the same area. And we're noticing, again, that we have uh, the numbers coming out to right around the exact same value. Back and forth so that we can kind of see it as we see there. And I'm gonna say that the accuracy of the color, and this is the way it really should be, the accuracy of the color from a white balance selection really looks the same to me. You're going to get an accurate white balance adjustment using the same point in both softwares, right? But you're going to see the results, here's back to Capture One, be slightly different because the image as it is originally brought in before you do anything is slightly more contrasty inside of Lightroom Classic. So there is gonna be that slight difference in the original point. And this is gonna be true for all of your adjustments, not just white balance, but this is a good opportunity to kind of see it. So as we would hope for and expect, white balance correction using a correct 18% gray tool and the white balance selection tool are going to give us accurate measurements and accurate corrections in both softwares. Okay, that's what I've got for you today. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.